Louisiana Beer Reviews, Terrapin Brewing Company's Depth Perception Imperial IPA. This is from Terrapin Brewing Company, Athens, Georgia. Uh, I'm not going to read this writing because it's on their website link that I have below. They put the date on the can, but the way they have it written, it's just like etched, so it's not ink. But at least I have it. Okay, anyway, 9.1% uh, alcohol, 75 bitterness units. They use two row caramel malt and crystal barley, crystal 45 barley malts, plus they have malted wheat, so it contains wheat. The hops are CTZ, Chinook, and tri Crystal, and the dry hop later on is CTZ, Centennial, and Simcoe. This was introduced in 2022. Gets a very good 87 out of 100 on Beer Advocate with 80 check-ins, 89 out of 100 on Rape Beer, which is also very good. Um, in the style, Imperial IPA, it only gets a 69. So they say it's a very good beer, but for the style, it's a uh, garbage. Um, <laughs> with 46 check-ins, not too many people checking in on rate beer these days, and 75 out of 100 on untapped, with 9,465 check-ins. Okay. All righty. Green tab. Don't know if it comes in bottles. You would assume draft. That's not always accurate because I've had beers where they say available in cans or draft, and then I'm sitting there reviewing it out of a bottle from some company. So can't always go by what they have on their website because a lot of times they don't update the website if things change. Um, off white head for sure, and it looks orange with the light shining through it. Orange and translucent, but not transparent, you cannot see through it. Yep, orange, like pumpkin orange with the light shining at it. Bubbles. All right. Never before had it. Bought this in uh, Elmwood, Louisiana, because, uh, well, I had to get it there. I don't see any terrapin, terrapin beers in this parish anymore. Um, barely see it in Jefferson Parish, so I don't know. I guess Terrapin is fading away from this area. It used to be pretty common at Walmart, for instance, now. For weeks and weeks, I haven't seen it. Maybe going on months now. And usually when that happens, they, you don't see them again. They just disappear. They're gone. Like Harpoon, UFO beers, the unfiltered offering from them. Those used to be so common. Then they start to drop, and then they were gone and never returned. That's just one of many examples. Yeah, rich malts. Malts. Now, it might have some of that white wheat bread flavor. Oh, it's hot out here. White wheat bread aroma, too, in flavor. It's really too hot to be sitting out here doing a review, even though it's just 8 o'clock a.m. Seventy-five bitterness units right off the top. It's showing it. It's not building up to it. It's there. So if you're not into bitter beers, run from this. Sweet malts. Now you got the softness from the wheat. I know they add wheat to the Florida Man IPA down there. Cigar City. Well, another one has left the market around here. Um, sweet, sweet, sweet. So... Four out of five sugar cubes. If you're not into sweet multi beers, this is probably not going to appeal to you at all. A strong ale. 9.1. Strong. Now, sometimes when they add wheat, like with this one, they give it a smoky flavor. Can't explain that. But it's, I don't know why it has a smoky flavor. Smoky malts. <laughs> High, medium body, nearly heavy. Kind of a slick mouthfeel. Bitterness, four out of five hop cones.
eighty percent, but it's seventy-five percent on the number. So it's you know it's like you know four out of five hop cones coming up. We could say three and a half. But it's four. Yeah, well, it'd be three quarters. So it'd be more than three and a half, right? <laughs> Sorry. All right. Um, no, I mean. Mostly dry, but not totally dry finish. Well, let's say 60 30. Si Yikes, hadn't started drinking yet. Um, 70 30. 70% dry, 30% sweet. So there's sweetness in the finish. Um, okay. You get the smoky wheat, the sweet malts, the bitter hops, um, the white bread crust flavor, the sugar flavor, a little pine from the hops, pine and citrus. It's an intense flavor. If you were into mildness, this is not going to happen for you. If you like intense, uh, maybe you could say overly strong, this could work. This could really work. And I like those. I mean, to not drink every day, no, mm, too much, you know. But for an occasional intense experience in flavor and body and everything, this will work. This will work. I think they do a, a good job over there. Some people do take issue with them, don't care for them too much. I guess it's a moot point for me mostly because it looks like we're Terrapin is finished with Louisiana. On the other hand, it's not always totally like I said because we didn't see Miller Genuine Draft here for years. Now it's right there on the shelf. At least at one store every 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 day. So yeah, I'm gonna go with excellent. Say 93 out of 100, 9.3 out of 10. A most excellent product. Um, don't really know the price point on it. I got it at, at, for a special price that's uh, astronomically lower than normal. So, and I just bought two cans. I, I found singles of it for, like I said, ridiculously low price. Don't expect to see that again either. So, laissez les bon temps relay, a 9.3 out of 10, most excellent beer. And I'm going to get out of this direct sunlight and heat and humidity and say, y'all go to Athens, Georgia, and take a brewery tour.